Donald Trump is in no position to dictate terms, not at home, not abroad, certainly not to India. Hydroxychloroquine, it's an anti-malarial drug. India makes a lot of it. And suddenly the whole world wants it, including US President Donald Trump. Only he doesn't know how to ask properly. So he issues threats. Our cover story tonight is about a president who is disconnected with reality. A president who is failing miserably. A president who was in denial about this pandemic. Things became so bad that a Russian military plane landed in America with medical supplies made by a company that the U.S. had sanctioned. Donald Trump is in no position to dictate terms, not at home, not abroad, certainly not to India. And yet he threatens retaliation if his quote-unquote request is not honored. So tonight, we will tell you why Donald Trump may be single-handedly responsible for America's crisis and how lack of leadership is making a superpower bite the dust. Our story tonight begins with a press conference. A journalist rose to ask the president a question. He wanted to know about India's ban on medicine exports. India had banned the export of medicine, specifically of hydroxychloroquine, a potential, I want to underline that, a potential cure for coronavirus. The journalist wanted to know how President Trump would deal with this ban. Trump replied with a threat. And I said, we'd appreciate your allowing our supply to come out. If he doesn't allow it to come out, that would be okay. But of course, there may be retaliation. Why wouldn't there be? A retaliation, that is what the U.S. president is threatening. First, a botched up response, and now such bluster. America has more than 370,000 cases of the coronavirus, the highest in the world. They're failing miserably at controlling the Wuhan virus, and now Donald Trump is looking for a fall guy. The president is blaming everybody but himself. Trump wants to show that he is in control. Unfortunately for him, not many believe this. Donald Trump believes he can force any country to sell, to sell him critical supplies. Well, here are some facts that we must all know. The decision to lift India's partial ban or lift the ban partially on the export of medicines came before Trump's so-called threat, not after. India, remember, had requests from 30-odd countries for medicines, so India decided to help those in need. That's what any mature country would do. Let me repeat, India's decision came before the president hinted at retaliation, not after. So we should dismiss Trump's comments as a trademark grandstanding. India has decided that neighborhood comes first. It will give medicines to countries that need it most. As for this medicine, hydroxychloroquine, here's the thing. Trump is betting big on it. It is being called the miracle drug, but it is not a proven cure. Scientists will not vouch for it. There is no proven cure for the Wuhan coronavirus. It's all trial and error right now. Hydroxychloroquine has been given to some patients around the world. They've shown positive signs, but doctors are not widely prescribing it because the evidence is limited. Trump's own advisor on this, America's top doctor and researcher on infectious diseases, Anthony Fauci, has called the evidence, quote unquote, anecdotal. But the president will have none of it. He wants to be seen as finally doing something. So he's buying 100,000 body bags and he's insisting on a medicine that may or may not work. And this alone should explain why America is in such a mess.